What's up freaks and geeks? Welcome back to Low Res DIY. So in my last video, we cr created a couple VLANs and a couple quick simple firewall rules just to get everything a little more secure and up and running. And uh, I ended up getting a comment that basically stated, wouldn't it be easier to do this with traffic routing or traffic rules? And I've never looked into them, so... I thought, well, let's let's look into them and see if they uh, would be easier than trying to create firewall rules. And let me tell you, I'm glad I looked into it because it was a hell of a lot easier using the traffic rules. So we're going to go through and set some up uh, for my network here and uh, get everything a little bit more secure next on Low Res DIY. Okay, before we get going, we're going to have a really quick look at what we set up last time. Uh, we set up an IoT network and a main network, and we left our default network alone. I later came back and I created a cameras network and a guest network. The cameras network is for my security system. Uh, then we went from networks to Wi-Fi and basically we just created all of the same uh, networks but over Wi-Fi and okay so the first rule rule that we're gonna start out with is I am going to block the camera network from talking to any other of my internal networks and the reason that I want to do that it's there are known uh, issue or weak point for hackers to hack into your system. So if they hack into your system on that network and you have everything wide open, well, they'll be able to get to it. So let's let's go ahead and let's stop them from being able to get to your other internal networks. We are going to go to security. Once it pops up right here, traffic and firewall rules they went and combined them because basically when you're creating a traffic rule you're just creating a firewall rule but they made it much um, i guess more intuitive and and easier to follow so let's go ahead and click on that it's what we're going to be greeted with and if you look up here it says advanced if you click on that it's just the firewall rules that's all it is Simple brings us back to being able to create traffic rules. So let's go ahead and create that first traffic rule we were talking about. All right, so let's go ahead and name it Block Cameras from, yeah, let's go ahead and just say VLANs. The next option it's going to give you, it's going to want you to, to select your device or your network that is going to be blocked. So we're going to click on that and we're gonna pick our cameras network if you scroll down it'll give you all the devices that are on your network and you're on your VLANs and uh, you can really get granular with it but we're gonna keep it big here and we're gonna go ahead and click cameras we're gonna save it then it's gonna ask you the destination so where are you wanting to block the cameras from getting to you have a couple different choices first one's app well we're gonna scroll down and we're going to pick local networks. Then it gives us the option of selecting our local network. So let's go ahead and select it. And we're going to pick all of them. Well, we don't have to pick the guest network because it's on its own separate completely rules. And we're going to save that. Then it's going to give us another little pop up here. And if you open it up, it's going to ask you traffic to and from all local networks, traffic from all or to all networks. It's basically saying camera traffic to or from or to and from networks. Well, I am going to choose the bottom one. I'm going to choose traffic to all networks because I want to block the camera traffic to all of the networks that I chose. So I click on that. If you want to put a schedule on it, you you feel free to do that. I don't know why you would want to do it with this situation in this situation, but you can. And we're just going to go down here and we're going to click add a rule. And once it's done, bam. There is our first rule and it's created and uh 
Let's see if it's still going up. It, it kicks them in pretty quick when they're, they're small stuff like that. So let's go ahead and click on advanced and uh, ba -ba -ba, where will we go? Land right there. It's a firewall rule. Block cameras from VLAN. So you created a firewall rule the simple and easy way. And I say that because I don't know, maybe it's just the way my noodle works, but I've always had trouble kind of grasping how they worded the firewall rules, things like that. So I'm happy with that. The next thing I want to do is I want to actually block the cameras network from even getting on the internet because if someone can hack into them again you're you're wide open so we're going to click create another rule and we're going to do block cameras cameras from enter net and we are going to select our cameras uh network we're going to change it from apps we're going to scroll down and we're going to click network and i'm going to leave it scheduled as always so we're going to add that rule so now the camera network is just by itself it's one entity it doesn't really know that anything else is out there but like i said i have a blue iris uh server that the cameras all report back to and i want that server to be able to talk to the cameras so let's create another rule so as I was getting to getting ready to make that new rule I just realized I kind of did something incorrect incorrectly I want to go back to my uh, block cameras from VLANs and I don't want to just stop stop the cameras network from talking to the VLANs I want to stop all traffic so to and from any of the VLANs and I'm going to hit apply. So now I'm going to create that rule of blue iris to cameras. And it's going to be an allow rule. So I'm going to click allow. I'm going to select the device and I'm going to just do a search for blue iris. And there it is. So I'm going to select that where do i want to let it go well back to our local networks and we're going to select cameras we're going to save it and what do we want uh to allow through here well i want to allow blue iris to talk to all the the uh all of that local network of cameras that way it can get in there and uh receive all the information we're going to go ahead and click add rule and there it is it created that rule so now if anyone were to say rip a camera off my wall off of one of my my walls outside or something and plug in a network adapter because most of my cameras are, are poe power over ethernet they can go ahead and do that but they can only talk to the other cameras on the system. They can't talk to any of the other VLANs and they can't get to the internet or anything else. So we just kind of lock that thing down. And uh, let's do the same thing with our IoT networks. So again, we're going to create a rule and we're going to block IoT from VLANs. Again, we're going to select, but this time we're going to select IoT. We're going to save it. We're going to change it to local networks. We're going to select, and we are going to select those three right there. We're going to save it, and we are going to stop that uh, IoT network from, from talking to and from all of the other networks and we're going to add that rule so it added that rule i'm not going to uh, add one to block it from talking to the internet because some of these things need to talk to the internet i've got a lot of tasmoda devices which are locally ran but uh the significant other she loves uh the alexa devices and they need to talk to the internet so i'm not going to add that rule but i am going to allow I'll add one allow rule because for my smart home i use 
home assistant and I put it on one of my servers also so let's create a new rule and again it's going to be I'm just gonna call it HA to IOT I'm going to allow and we're going to do a search for home home assistant right there so I'll choose that I'll save that and I want it to be able to talk to the IOT network and see this is allowing the home assistant uh, server to talk to all the IOT devices but it won't work in reverse so if somebody hacks into your your smart switch they can't continue on to your main main VLAN add a rule so with that I'm pretty happy with the way everything's set up right now I do want to do one more rule that uh, I think will help you out and we're going to block all not all but block most VLANs from our router and we're going to leave it as a block we're going to select everything well I want to leave the default in the main there so we'll select the other three we're going to click Save and I want to do IP addresses and let's go ahead we want to do 192.168.1.1 add 10.10.10.1 add 10.10.20.1 add 10.10.30.1 and we're going to add it because every time we made a VLAN it created a new uh, a new uh, gateway number for that VLAN and actually let's do 0.16 Six eight point one point or point two point one, which is the guest network, and we're going to add it. And right there, we just blocked these three networks from talking to any of these IP addresses, which are the IP addresses of your your gateway. Because again, if somebody got into the cameras network, they weren't blocked from your firewall, or your router, so they could get in there and cause all sorts of havoc, change these rules, and they'd be all over it so we're gonna add that rule and and now I'm pretty doggone comfortable with uh, with the way everything's set up one more thing I do wanna kinda let's just go over the uh, apps or let's here let's go in here your options for different uh, things if if you wanna do uh, apps and you can hit select and it gives you quite a list of apps that you can block or allow or whatever. Let's just uh let's pick one. I don't know. Uh, TikTok. Let's say your your kid likes watching TikToks all night long and you can't get them to stop. Well, that's when you go in here. You click on an every day. You give it a time of. Let's see, is it? Yeah. So let's say eight o'clock until. Let's not be complete jerks. Let's let them look at TikTok right before they go to school. And you add that. Oh, select device. So, okay, I forgot about that. The device you want to select, you can either set your child's uh, computer, phone, Xbox, whatever, on a static IP. And you can put that static IP address in there and choose that as the, the item to block. Or you can just create... A network and just call it a uh, general or kids or something like that and then you can just block that whole network from it so you know if you've got multiple kids out there and you want to treat them all the same give them the same rules and you just throw them all in that same network create the same rules for them and BAM there you go so let's just click on actually let's click on guest hit save apply and it created that rule down here. I didn't give it a name or anything, but you know, it still created that rule to block TikTok between the hours of A and B. Uh, 
I think that's a pretty nice feature, especially if uh, you know you're setting this up for a school or something like that, or a library or something. You can uh, make rules to limit the access of certain devices so it doesn't slow up your internal network. And with that, that's all I got for you. So check you later.